Guys, this is K104 here, and uh, first off, I want to say I apologize that it's been a year since I made a video, but I had a lot going on. Um, today, I'm going to show you my overview of the drive circuit I used in my other videos. Basically, a triple five 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 timer circuit, driving a microwave magnet uh, transformer. Today, I got it hooked up to a CFL bulb. Uh, the parts I use is a 555 timer, a 1000 ohm resistor, a 120 ohm resistor, a 10 ohm resistor, a 22k resistor or 22,000, a 470 ohm, two 10k pots potentiometers. Also use two. 2N 2222 transistors to drive the IRF 460 MOSFET. <clears throat> um, the capacitor going from pin 2 to ground is a 1 ultrafarad 50 volt electrolytic capacitor, which I'm not quite sure of the frequency, but I want to say it's about 50, maybe 60 hertz, I believe. I got the positive of my battery. Come around, connecting to one side of the microwave transformer. The other side of it is connected to the collector pin of the MOSFET. As you can see, I don't have a system of schematics for it. Hopefully this will help. It's a little messy. Mm, a little messy. And that's running out to the CFL bulb. Which one side connects to ground, where is it at? Connects to ground. The high voltage side goes out to the other side of the CFL bulb. Right now I'm currently running it on 24 volts. Ooh, yeah, running it on 24 volts and see if the camera can pick it up. It should. So, let's see what it'll do. Yeah, looks like it's working. Then we adjust the potentiometer here. There you go, it's got really bright. Kind of interfering with my camera a little bit. Constantly blinking a lot. There you go, I hope it don't interfere with my phone. Tear it up. If it does, it will help. But that's what I got so far. Cut potentiometer back down and it dims the light. All the way down to pretty much nothing. That's all the way turned up for my potentiometer on this one here. Yep, there it goes. It's focusing. Yeah. That's what I got right there. I'll try to draw up a schematics or find the schematics again. I kind of lost them. But hopefully this can help you out somewhat. May have to pause it or something. Pause the video. Seems to be working pretty good though. Turn it back down. MOSFET gets a little warm to the touch. The IC555 stays cool. The 2N2222 is pretty cool too. Not hot, not even warm. It's the best way I found to run it without blowing anything up or frying any of the circuits. I'm going to see if I can put 36 volts on it right quick and see what happens on that. Still running the drive circuit is running at 12 volts while the transformer We'll be running at 36 volts. See if I can get this to connect. Might be able to. There we go. Got it connected. Yeah. So they're connected in series to give me 36 volts. The negative is connected to the ground here. The positive side is connected to the positive. <clears throat> so I got 12 volts going to the drive circuit. 36 volts going to the transformer and the MOSFET. So here it goes. A little bit more better.
Yeah, seems to be a little bit better, a little bit more power. Bulbs different, definitely a lot brighter in person. Seems to work pretty good. I'm gonna hook my magnetron back up on it and start experimenting with that again. And I'm gonna put 36 volts on it this time around to see what happens. Hopefully it'll work pretty good. But uh, that's all I got for right now. Until next time, peace out.